many people had Bowman for economic theory? And I know that in that class you talked about von Neumann utility functions, right? Did he also talk to you about the literature of that era and James Savage and decision making? No. In the, I guess in the 50s, and it reared its ugly head again. In economic theory, there was a big discussion about how people make decisions under risk and under uncertainty. And Frank Knight, who wrote in the beginning part of the 20th century, made an important distinction between risk and uncertainty. Risk meant that you could measure the probability with which you were going to die walking across the street. Or doing bungee jumping or something like that. You could compute the probability with which an adverse event was going to happen. That's risk. Uncertainty was, is when you can't come to a conclusion about the likelihood that an adverse event is going to occur because you don't have any experience on which to base your judgment. Well, as part of that debate, what emerged was that there was a difference between statistical decision theory and hypothesis testing. And the essential difference is not that we're trying to identify the truth or reject uh, things that aren't true, but we're trying to discriminate between alternative representations or courses of action. That's the basis of decision theory. We're not arguing that one thing is correct and the other is wrong, just that one is better. Than the other. So the person who really s did the most work in this, most substantive work in this area, is a guy named Dr. Yeager. And also in the 50s, and this also might have been part, might have been part of the discussion of your economic theory courses, there was a, an electrical engineer named Shannon who worried about things like signal quality over circuit. And whether or not, oh, how many of you in uh, grade school played the game where you all sat in a circle? And the teacher whispered something in the ear of the first person in the circle. And they turn to the person next to them, and they tell that person what it was. And you see what message comes out the other end, whether or not it was the message that comes out the other end was the same as the message that was whispered to the first student. But in any case, Shannon was very much interested in the information content of a message. This is the foundation for modern telecommunication because a packet of information that's sent through a fiber optic cable, we rely on it coming out the other end and telling us what went in the beginning end of the cable. And so we have to know the statistical reliability of the information that's being transmitted. And so we ask the question, are we surprised by the information that we get from the signal? So for example, um, this morning on my way to work, the weatherman predicted rain. This afternoon I looked out my office window and it was raining. Was I surprised by that? Not too. On another day, the weatherman predicted that there was going to be rain. And a couple of hours later, I looked out my office window and lo and behold, the sun is shining. It's a glorious day with nothing but blue sky. Am I surprised by the observation that there's a sun and blue sky? Yeah, because the weatherman. So sure, I'm surprised. 